Japan, the land of the rising sun. With its rich culture, a fusion of traditional and modernity, the home of the most delicious cuisines, these are the few reasons why Japan is considered one of the top destinations in Asia. In this video, Osaka will be the main focal point of our adventure. In our first night, what better way to enjoy than exploring the lively streets of Totonbori. The wide neon lights, the buzzing crowds, busy shopping centers, no wonder Totonbori became one of the center of the nightlife culture in Osaka. The opening gateway of our food adventure in Osaka, this takoyaki. The running glikoman is a symbol of support for the hard work and perseverance of the Hanshin Tigers, Osaka's baseball team in 1935. The first day of the new year, spent it here in Kobe. got the Kobe Herb Garden ticket as part of the Osaka Kansai Pass. The cable car journey was short but relaxing, with its view being the skyline mountain of Kobe. The herb garden houses various types of flowers. The sausage and the ice cream, however, is just top notch. The creaminess of the ice cream combined with the sweet tangy taste is just out of this world. Strolling in the streets of Kobe and realized that Kobe's infrastructure and architecture are one of its highlights. Roam around the Chinatown, but the top highlight of Kobe is none other than the world's renowned Kobe beef. Lucky to be able to spot this smaller restaurant in Kobe. For only 1,800 yen, we got this Kobe beef set which contains sushi, ramen, and a Kobe beef side dish. Hands down the best 1,800 yen of our lives. Arashimaya, 
with its famous bamboo grove somehow reminded me of the man-made forest in Bohol. The journey to Arashimai definitely wasn't easy. Long train rides in the middle of the Osaka morning rush hour. Time to replenish our energy with this bento set meal. Kyoto is famous for its matcha, so wouldn't miss this matcha for the world. Here is one of Japan's most iconic dog breed, the adorable Shiba Inu lifting the spirits of the passerbys. Another beef eating adventure with Nara beef. And Nara would not be Nara without the gentle bowing deers in the Nara park. And that, of course, is with the deer crackers. Apparently, even in the shivering winter season, wearing a kimono while strolling the streets of Kiyomizu Temple is still a comfortable experience. Arrived late at the Fushimi in Nari Shrine, which is famous for its long orange tori gates. This was built for the deity of harvest and business. Next destination is the Osaka Castle, one of the most famous historical landmarks in Osaka. It was built way back in the 1500s, was destroyed in the 1600s, and reconstructed in 1931. A brief boat ride with a magnificent view of the Osaka Castle with a guide explaining the history is like embarking in a journey to the past.
going to the top view of the Tsuntekaku Tower, or some call as the Hitachi Tower, located in Osaka Shinsekai is a great way to enjoy the top view of the city. Visited the Solaniwa Onsen. And of course, also the authentic Sukiyaki Gyudon. The Tempozan Giant Ferris Wheel is also a great way to see the Bay Area and Osaka in a bird's eye view. Definitely highly recommend this Ferris Wheel ride. is cruising with the Santa Maria Cruz. The weather was unexpectedly scorching hot, but the view was definitely worth the sunburn. Museum displays various car pieces throughout the history. Perfect for car lovers. The Ketsu Tayen Observatory in Omeda is a good spot to observe the Omeda skyline. The rooftop view was definitely amazing. The see-through escalator ride going down is the highlight of this observatory. The Koji Kinutani Tenko Art Museum shows the rich culture of Osaka through stunning visuals. The historical 3D show is immersive and definitely educational. HEP 5 Osaka Ferris Wheel Honestly, it's just a so-so Ferris Wheel ride. last night in Osaka and met up with some relatives. Decided to eat in Saizeria, but my most favorite part of this restaurant is their unlimited drinks. Of course, the nerve-wracking journey to the Shinkansen going to Tokyo while carrying all the luggages, getting lost, arriving in the wrong train station is just one of the most memorable parts of this trip. Good thing we made it just in time. On our next adventure, let's go to Tokyo. Stay tuned!